fact, all three of us even, is this idea that um, design is accessible. I, I call it my three A's of design, whether I'm working with clients or designing product or even working on television production, which is that design is accessible, it should be affordable, and it should be available to everyone. Um, good design comes in every price point and every style. And that's what I sell to my clients. It's not about how much it costs or where it came from. We all love fine things and we all love a little bling and we all love a little story. But at the end of the day, it needs to be livable. And we all have to be able to, but one of the things I don't do, we probably all have at some point in our careers is, there was a time when people wanted a house to be a museum. And that's just not true anymore, right. not in the least. People want to be able to, if you pass by a room or if your guests have to say, oh, can I sit here? <laughs> then we've failed them. Um, yeah. And even when clients ask for that, I say, no, 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 no. You don't really want that today. And that's the same approach I take to designing product. Um, I, I know, I, I love the idea, and Libby and I have known each other for a while now, and so here's this thing where we, we both have design firms, and we both have licensed product, and we both do television work. She's East Coast, and I'm West Coast, and the whole male-female thing. And so what I really love, and, and why I then follow somebody like Lib, like you Libby, and you Kelly, is that we all learn from each other. So it's more than just us teaching our clients about living well and about design, and it's really about we come to markets and we do these talks because it's we all learn from each other every day. Oh, 100%. Right? In the showrooms too? 